Hey guys, what's going on? Jay Campbell, Jim Brown, TRTRevolution.com. Again, answering your questions. And we got a really good question. I'm going to start this one off this time. It, in, it is, <clears throat> excuse me, is it possible to safely manipulate the thyroid for fat loss? So, again, we're not doctors. I'm always going to say that, you know, when we give these answers to these questions. However, um, and I'll speak for myself, but I know Jim agrees with me, you can safely alter or manipulate the thyroid for fat loss. Um, again, when you're working with a progressive physician who, you know, understands how to do such thing, how to do such things based on your blood work, based on when you have a biomarker or biomarkers that indicate that you have, uh, a, you know, a slightly off or, or not functional thyroid, um, you know, to give a little bit of education about the thyroid, I mean, it's a very powerful hormone in the body. Um, it controls a lot of different systems. I mean, it basically regulates your metabolism and your BMR, which is your basic metabolic rate. So when it's off or slightly, you know, lo like when you have a low body temperature, a low resting body temperature of say under 90, under 97.4, that's usually the equation. That usually means that your thyroid is a little sluggish. And again, it happens in a lot of people, both males and females. Um, and a good progressive physician can um, write a script for, a, um, uh, it's, it's basically, I think it's a, it's a, um, a porcelain uh, thyroid medication called Armor. So it's pig thyroid essentially, but it's a combination, and I don't want to get too esoteric because I don't want this to go over people's heads, but it's a combination of T3 and T4, which are the two most potent or powerful um, thyroid hormones or medications that alter and manipulate thyroid. And the difference from that, from say T3 or T4 by themselves, which are Synthroid, and I forget the medical name for T4, is this is a mild, I think I think it's a four grain, uh, Armour's a four grain uh, medication, but it's very mild form of T3 and T4. So it's like super, super uh, light in, as far as the dosage and its effectiveness compared to an actual T3 or T4. So, as long as you're working with a doctor that understands how to manipulate your thyroid to, and, and basically just so you understand, when you manipulate your thyroid, you're basically looking for a very, very slight uptick in metabolic rate, okay? So when you're using TRT, okay, metformin, you're lowering your carbohydrates, um, you're probably at a serious deficit plus doing cardio and all this stuff. You're going to slow your body's metabolic rate down after a certain amount of time with low calories anyway. So using armor, will give you a slight uptick to try to keep you really at a normal uh, metabolic rate, you know, BMR. Um, so that's that's the reason that most people do it. You will see people in the bodybuilding community, which obviously we don't advocate. We're not we're not we're not here to talk about them. But you'll see some of those guys use high dosages of T3 um, when they're in competitive. Uh, mode to try to get ripped and super ripped when they're coming down from super high body weights, but that's not something that we would ever recommend. It's also kind of dangerous because it can screw the body's thyroid production up. So when you're using armor, it's such a small, negligible amount of thyroid that you're using that it barely affects metabolic rate. It's not going to harm your natural thyroid output. Um, you would have to seriously abuse it, and, and honestly, I've seen guys take up to like 200 milligrams of it a day. It does, it, it's very mild. It's, it's not going to disturb natural thyroid output or function, um, but using it correctly, um, and everybody, and again, your doctor has to script this and give you a dosage, but we've seen it, we've seen it at 30 milligrams AM and PM on an empty stomach to cross the blood-brain barrier most effectively for absorption purposes. We'll definitely give that nice little uptick. And again, if you're a bodybuilder, you know, and, and again, this isn't, we're not talking about bodybuilding, but just to use that as an understanding, when you're, when you're on um, performance enhancing uh, drugs, um, your metabolism is going to be elevated. So, and, and again, everything is elevated from that stuff. So when you take, when these guys are using thyroid hormone, they're using it to, you know, gradually improve nitrogen retention, nitrogen response because of everything else being elevated. But, you know, for the purposes of TRT, for what we talk about it for, if you're trying to lose body fat, you can use thyroid armor, of course. That's the only thing we recommend with a doc, under a doctor's supervision and a script from a doctor to increase met metabolic rate and to help with fat loss. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I use, over, um, I use the over-counter equivalent of armor um, vitamin shop has a combination there's also one from american biologics it's basically a bovine um, thyroid tissue as well uh, i have noticed that my thyroid um, levels are in the medium range 
Uh, when I take that supplement on a regular basis, it's in the higher range of normal. And um, I do notice a slight difference. And I'm, I'm doing that, you know, that's over the counter. I think armor's slightly stronger than that. Again, um, I don't think that that's, there's a risk to, uh, you know, that's not enough to, it, well, in my experience, by using T3 and T4, uh, that, that's not doing it enough to shut down your natural production or disturb it. So I think it's a safe alternative. Um, you can use the over-the-counter one. I found that effective to bump you up a little bit. And then, of course, if you have a progressive physician, you can work with him to, to get on some armor thyroid. Well, I, you know, to put, to put your bodybuilding hat on, just so everybody understands, you know, back in your days when you were a competitor and you were, you know, using higher dosages than what we recommend and talk about now, explain the difference for people that really don't understand when they hear about using thyroid to manipulate their metabolism. Talk about, like, you know, using high doses of T3 and what it would do comparatively to using like a very moderate dose. Well, it, yeah, sure. And I never, I never really got crazy on thyroid um, because I, I definitely didn't want to suppress my own production, especially when the diet was over. Right. So I was always very conservative with that. I did notice that when I went over a certain level, which trust me, today would be considered like nothing. I don't want to, I don't want to say fitness girl, but that's like a fitness girl's dose. You know, and I'm a, I was a 280 pound guy. Um, and I would start to notice that my muscle loss would yeah, increase. It definitely uh, catabolizes muscle tissue for sure. Right. And so I never really had to take a lot of it. We're, I was talking seriously a baby dose of that, guys. And so when I came off the diet, um, I would take a natural supplement again, like you know, a, a combination that had um, a glandulars in it, and my thyroid bounced back really fast. I didn't right. notice any, any downtime. Um, I have known a lot of people uh, that have taken massive amounts of thyroid. Um, they have to take more anabolics to counteract the muscle loss because you're taking too much thyroid. And then after the diet's over, you're in hell for a long time, man. Um, some of those people didn't recover. Some of them did, and it took a long time. Um, and so that's, it's, a, it's a major difference than taking a natural supplement or like a desiccated tissue that just has a little bit to bump you up in the normal range. You're still right. in the normal range. Right. And so it's day and night. Yeah. There's no question, man. There's absolutely no question. So hopefully that answers you guys' questions on thyroid again. Very important. We do not recommend thyroid without a script from a progressive physician. You can modulate your TSH and other biomarkers to indicate whether you have a clinical need for it. If you do have a clinical need for it, you're a little bit sluggish, you're high body fat, almost. And by the way, we didn't really talk a lot about that today, but if you have high body fat and insulin resistance, your thyroid is off. I mean, there's just no question. I mean, you would have to be a, a, an aberration to be insulin resistant and high body fat and not have a well, and, and, and even, being, even being within the normal ranges, if right. you're in the low part of the normal range, it's a discernible difference between that and medium to high allowable range where they think it's you know whatever is acceptable it depends on the lab right absolutely okay thanks good 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 answers